So now this side is 239 millimeters. And the other one from top to bottom is 140 millimeters. Now we're doing this millimeters for precision. It is a laser, everything's in millimeters, except the stuff that I'm going to use. Right. Okay. Now it's I should cut this off, but I'm going to mark everything before I do. Okay, so I turn this around so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this is if this is the back of the laser, this is the bottom. This is this rectangle right here is the cutout for the exhaust that's already there. Um, you know, this is the top. This is and basically this is where the tu the tube sits right here. So in between those bell brackets that are welded to the back of it, they hold a fan that's about 239 millimeters. Mine's are slightly cockeyed, so I, I guess it. You want to measure top and bottom to make sure because the cockite constant uh, is not the same for everybody. So, like I said, 2099, including cockite constant, the top and bottom, um, up to the two because I want to be able to open up the, the lid there, is 140 millimeters. Um, the distance in between the sides, the L brackets, and the opening, about 30 millimeters. And if this this is the, the bracket right here, the way it's welded, and this is the back of the laser. Right here we have about nine millimeters. So this is a piece of three quarter inches not gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna have to cut some rabbits in here. I could go to nine millimeters, but I wanna use a gasket. So um, I'm gonna show exactly what I plan on doing um, and go from there. Now, we still have to do one thing here, um, and that is put in the cutout for the pipe that I'm going to use and okay so what I'm going to use for the pipe in this is this four inch uh, PVC sewer and, and, and drain pipe um, yeah so this pipe if I'm going to measure this it's about 107 and I think it's about maybe four four and a quarter around there outside diameter so this fits perfectly this obviously they're made for each other so they should fit but the point of it is this I'm gonna have to mark this over here because I want this to actually pass through the board but this will not okay so I found the middle I'm gonna mark this We don't really need this. This is just a reference, so we can make sure we're not doing something odd. This is the final piece of wood. Um, you could use some sanding, but that's not here nor there. Uh, we're going to need a piece of this, and we're also going to have to cut this, and then you'll see why. So I'm going to measure, I don't know how, how deep I cut this, this much, right? Okay. So now we're going to take that measurement and put it right here.
Okay, so these are the final components. A piece of wood, one piece of pipe, the 90 degree, and this mysterious ring to rule them all. So the plan is this. You will put this through. This barely fits in here, right? And now I cut a little lip over here, but this basically fits in. So the idea was to glue this with, with PVC glue, which I don't have any. So for all intents and purposes, let's call this glue it up. We're going to put this over here, and the idea is to take this other piece that we just cut and put it over here. And then, you know, find your spot, and then if you decide, okay, this is how I'm going to stick with it, you glue it. If not, probably can't leave it this way um, and go from there. So this is basically the outside piece, right? It will fit like this. The other thing is, the other component would be something like this. Um, this is designed for, for windows. It's got a little sticky surface over here. So, you know, it's basically weatherproofing. I'm going to put it all around. This fits right here and the ring fits right here and once it's glued it's gonna be fantastic so we're gonna go see what it looks like on the laser so as a proof of concept this is pretty good it's sealed pretty well the only thing is um, the gasket was a little too thick so it's kind of a pain to put in here the idea was for the gasket to be small enough so you could put this in and actually shim the Zell bracket so mm, it's not gonna work the way it is I will have to find another way maybe get some thinner gasket or I have another idea in mind but um, it works pretty well like I said you can connect it this way make your decision which direction this is gonna go and you know do it that way or you can probably maybe make this a little longer and make sure it's pretty tight in there and just leave it this way so this is the finalish product I've been using it for a while so I got rid of the gasket I cut a shim in three there's one here one on the other side and one at the bottom so when you put the shim in here it basically presses the piece of wood tied to the laser so there's no air blows or anything like that. The gasket was somewhat unnecessary and that's perfect. So the only problem with the shims now is that it stops the tube lid from opening so if you have to open it you have to actually pop it out and then you know when you need it back whatever you just pop it back in here so it's not the end of the world you know it takes three seconds so for the time being I think it's pretty good. Could modify the shims to be not a problem for the the two blade but it's not that big of a deal so it works pretty well maybe one of these days I'll show the rest of this setup and that's it have a good day